here we go. Power strength. I am Courtney. This class is about 50 minutes long. We are just using weights today. So grab a couple sets because when we do a more simple exercise like bicep curls, you might want to go heavier. And then when we do something more complicated, like one of the many other exercises we're doing today, you might want to go a little lighter. So maybe have a couple sets on hand, have water for sure. We're gonna do a nice long warm up, starting with easy peasy head nods. Let's go down and up for four, shoulder to shoulder for four. Always starting out easy, getting our minds ready, getting our ourselves ready to work. Hope everyone's doing great today. And if you're not, good thing you came because we're gonna be doing so much better soon. We're gonna be energized, we're gonna be pumped. <coughs> 10 seconds. Coming up, squat, step, touch. So squatting down, step, touching low. Coming up, two, one, squat it down. Step, touch, stay low. Come on up and back down, step, touch. Do the side. Pushing that booty back. Right. Weather is chilly here. Gearing up for another rainstorm coming to our area. 15 seconds. We're so lucky to be inside. Eight. Leg swing is next up for each side. Alternating two, one. Here we go, swing it. You can always hold on to a wall if you'd like. I'm gonna blame my shoes today. I'm wearing my non-balancing shoes today. These ones uh, are really hard to balance in because they're narrow, they're high. So that's what I'm gonna blame. As soon as we do a single leg deadlift and I fall over, it's because of the shoes. It's nothing because of me. It's just the shoes, right? <laughs> 12 seconds. Going down to an adductor to a lunge stretch, alternating between the two and the two sides. Four, three, two. Coming down, get that inner thigh. Switch it to a lunge, back to center, and then walk to the other side. Woo! This is where I can tell I'm really sore. I can run a ton of miles and not get sore, but the second I do a workout with all of you, super sore. 15 seconds. Coming into high plank, one travel to the side, one arm lift. In six, four, two. Bring that leg to the back, high plank, travels one side. Arm lift, one side arm lift. Or you can just hold the high plank if it's too much to travel. Just slowly warming up our upper body now, our core. Always important to do three parts of a warm up. Usually starting with standing, something easy, then moving to the floor just to get your shoulders warmed up, your core warmed up, and then standing back up for some dynamic movements. Three, two, coming into downward dog, and then back to high plank, now lift your leg, and then back to downward dog. Into high plank, lift that other leg. So when we lift the leg, we're thinking about our glute pulling our legs slightly up. Go ahead and take this as fast or as slow as you'd like. So your pace. 18 seconds. Standing it up after this. Coming to section three of our warm up. We have in seven seconds, squat lift. Three, two, jump or step it in. 
Come on up. Squat lift. Squat touch. Side to side. Bring it way down and then up to your toes. Reach those arms straight overhead. Looking good already. How are we feeling now? Better, right? I know I am. 18. Next up. Jog for four, jazz for two. All right, let's bend our legs a little more now. Eight seconds. Yes. Three, two. Jag it, jog it. Jack it. Jag and jock. Go, go. I'm suddenly feeling self-conscious this morning because last night my eight-year-old son goes, oh, you have your class in the morning. Okay, well, I'll be waking up. You always wake me up, mommy. You're so loud. I'm like, yeah, I got to yell at everybody, you know? We got to get everybody energized. 10 seconds. We'll see if he wakes up today. I don't think he will. Knee taps to twist. Here we go. Knee tap to twist. My kids started, officially started their track and field season. All three of my boys are in it, which is so amazing as a parent to have all of your kids going to the same sport. It's fantastic. 20 seconds rather than driving them all this up, which they all have other sports too, but at least they're going to one of the same. Anyway, they are tired, tired, tired. Eight seconds. Last bit of warm up here. Jump rope. Three, two, jump rope, center. Turn it to the side. Turn it back to center. Side, center, side, center, side, center. Keep it center. Keep it center. Right leg only. Left leg switch. 20 seconds. Right leg. Left leg. One more. Right leg. Left leg. Six. Center. Three. Two. Boom, warm up done. Woo, how's those calves? I feel them. All right, grab some water, walk it around. We ready for this team? Feeling strong today? What's your challenge today? What are you going to work on? All right, we have 20 seconds to go, holding those weights, squatting down, holding down, tapping out in and up down tap the other side 12 seconds pick them up heavy weights for this one six three two squat it down hold it tap it out bring it up other side let's think about what are you going to specifically obviously you're going to work on everything today right we all are but what do you want to focus on today? Maybe you want to focus on when you do with something like a squat coming lower than normal. Maybe you want to focus on the cardio sections, really taking off, getting that heart rate higher than ever. Maybe you just want to focus on form. 22 seconds. You can let me know after class in the comments. 15. Come on, get lower. Five. Three. Two. Good, bring it down to your back. Bring the weights with you. We have a complicated move coming up. One leg in the air, doesn't matter which one. Skull crusher with a hip drop, then a narrow chest press as we switch legs. 
Ready? Let's go for it. Skull crusher with a hip drop, then a narrow chest press as you switch legs, keeping those hips in the air. It's fun to throw these moves in sometimes, yeah? It keeps our brain working. Fantastic. Keep those hips high as you switch legs. Only bringing your hips down as you skull crush. Great work. 13 seconds to go. Stick with it. Standing it up after this. In five, three, two, one, boom. Bring your legs up, roll yourself up, bring your weights with you. We have a curtsy to a squat press. Right leg only comes back to a curtsy. Then bring your weights up, squat, press overhead. Two, one, let's go. Deep squat before you press overhead. Wow, look at those curtsies. Getting your knee back there, getting it to the ground, almost to the ground, not banging it. <laughs> you look so good. Wrong legs. Let's go ahead and pulse the curtsy in 10 seconds. Five, three, two, pulse that curtsy, let's go. Bring it back. Shoulders down, chest is up. Big pulse. 13 seconds to go. Great work. Ooh, five. Three, two, one. Oh, shake it out. More legs coming up. Heavy weights, heavy weights if you got them. Squat pulse for two, then coming up, heel lift. Here we go. Three, two. Let's do it. Squat pulse. Coming up, lift to your toes. Lift those heels off the ground. Whoa. Chest is up, booty is back. Just like you're sitting right back into a chair, a low chair. So if you're doing these workouts, and obviously, if you've been doing them, you're getting stronger. 10 seconds till we pulse just the legs. And you're feeling like these workouts are getting kind of easy. Two, one, legs only, squat it, pulse. You might want to go for some heavier weights and challenge yourself. I know for myself, five seconds, I'll tell you in a second. Two, one, rest. Ah. Triceps, hip backs. Both weights, both hands at once. So, flat back over, hinging forward at the waist. Bend your knees. Bring those elbows up high and push them back. Two, one, let's go. Push them back. Taking the swing out. Here is the difference. Here is me swinging. Here's all the people you see in the gym doing these. And they're like, wow, I can really do heavy weights. I can do a ton of these. I am so strong. But you're like, nope. If you've got to take the swing out, all of a sudden those weights will feel twice as heavy. All right, so back to what I said. Uh, what did I say? Investing in heavier weights, challenging yourself. Oh, I was going to tell you my thing. I know for me, for these classes, I use eight pound weights, which I know sounds really light to you. 20 seconds. But for teaching the class, it works great for me. As soon as I go to my 10 pound weights though, they are like a million pounds heavier. And they're only two pounds heavier each hand, but they feel so much heavier. Four, three, two, one, rest. Woo. First cardio, set those weights down. You don't need them. High knee pulses for two to a scoop. High knee for two, with or without a hop. Then we're gonna go down to the floor. Two, one, 
Let's go. Two cardio exercises in a row. No break here. All right, everybody, get low on that scoop. Low on that scoop, way down there. You can even brush your hands to the floor just to make sure you're getting down there. Great, Kirby. 22 seconds. Heading to the floor, we have mountain climbers. Three, two, one, and then we lift both legs off the ground if you can. Eight. Five. Three, two, climbers. Three, two, one, lift. Three, two, one, lift. Trying to lift that back leg down while you keep your knee in. Or you can just do climbers. Walking climbers or bouncing climbers. Let's go. Drive that knee in. Hold it in as you lift. Use your core to hold that knee in. Go, Mickey. 15. Push, push. Eight. Three, two. Ah, rest. How'd you do? Oh. When you're doing it, maybe you're not breathing super hard, but after, you're like, wow, that was tough. You did it. 15 seconds. Grab your weights. Grab them. 10 seconds. Left leg, curtsy, squat press. Other side. Four. Here we go. Two. Curtsy. Squat press. Whoop. Right into it. I love how you started on time. Try to focus on that back knee. Getting it down, bending a little lower. Great work. 10 seconds till we pulse. Four, two, pulse it, pulse it. Okay, make it big, big. Big level change in your head. So there's this, and then there's this. Big difference. Eight seconds. Let's go. Uh-oh. Balancing. Two. One. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. Here we go. Right leg, deadlift to forward lunge. Deadlift. Bringing that leg straight through. Stepping out. And then coming back. Two. One. Here we go. Remember, it's the shoes, it's not you. <laughs> Trying to not let that foot touch the floor if you can. Let's go over all of our form cues for this. Coming forward on the deadlift, making sure your shoulders are back, they're not rounding forward, they're back and down. Looking about three feet in front of your feet. Big step forward into that lunge. Big, big step. You want a wide space between your legs and then pushing off that front leg to get back. Takes power, which you got plenty of, huh? You're warmed up, you're ready to go. Nine seconds. Three, two. Rest. Way to go. All right. Rows to tap backs. Double hand rows. So two narrow rows, one tap back. Let's go. Three, two. Hinging forward at the waist. Let's go. Two rows. Tap it back. Two rows. Think about your back muscles pulling those weights up. Once again, looking about three feet in front of your feet. It's important not to look straight down. Once you look straight down, then your form goes out the window. 
keep that bend in your knees as you tap it back, putting pressure into your glute. Elbows come up and squeeze together. 16. All right, we're sweating now. Eight. Three, two, rest. Put those weights down for a moment. Coming into elbow plank, elbow plank. Rainbow tap, so taking your foot, tapping it over your other foot, and trying to touch it to the ground. And then other side, two, one, let's go. Tapping over. If you don't want to tap, if it's too much, you can just do the regular rainbows, which are these. Right? Can you touch your toe to the floor on each side? Can you get it on each side? Close. It's tricky, that's for sure. You got it though. Great, Donna. 20 seconds. Come on, get down there. Eight. You're doing it. Three, two, rest it. Yes, all right. Other side, deadlift. Grab those weights, come on up. Left leg comes up this time. Option to keep both feet on the floor. I didn't say that last time, but you can do that. And then go into the lunge. Here we go, we're on. Trying to balance, that's the key here. Uh-oh. All right, focus, focus. a pull in the back of your leg when you go into that deadlift. If you don't, then we need to go over the form again. Remember, looking out in front of you, shoulders are back and down. 18 seconds here. Way to stay strong here. Six. Three, two, one, set those weights down. Back to cardio, two in a row, two in a row. We've got a crab, toe touch with or without a hop for two, and then running out. There we go, two, one, let's go. Don't think about it, just get it done. I know it seems crazy, it's actually fine. You're gonna be great, just go for it. Nice work. Definitely working our full body on this one. Go for it, Zach. 20 seconds. Next up, speed touches. Coming up. We're standing. Seven. Go, go. Three, two, Speed touches, right up and over. Touch it. You can do these with a little hop or just touch side, low impact. Go, go. If it's too much to bend over, you can stand up and go side to side. 25 seconds. Come on. Yes, you should be uncomfortable. Yes, it should be a bit awkward. You get into a position like this all the time. When you're picking something up, functional training, that's what this is. Seven. Three, two, rest off. Oh, so hard, right? That bending over side to side. You're amazing though. Grab water, walk it around.
reverse flies. Coming up. Seven seconds, grab your weights. Hinging forward at the waist, two. Let's go. Reverse flies. If your weights are super heavy, you can come up a bit more. If they're lighter, drop it down. Chest out, booty out. So on the weekends, I like to run long. Like keep up with like usually 10 to 13 miles every weekend just, just to keep up my distance running. And it's slow, it's not fast. 20 seconds. So this weekend I'm running with my group. Zach included because he's running the marathon coming up. 10 seconds. And we're talking about the marathon. Four, three, two. Yeah, rest. Oh, woo. Drop, drop those weights. Back to plank, elbow plank, shifting forward and back. Shifting forward and back to your toes. Two, one, let's go. So you're, you're just shifting. Your booty is not coming up and down. You're just shifting forward to back. Just to your toes and back. So we're all talking about how my husband, Dave, signed up for the marathon. Just to get him motivated to start running. He did this a year ago. And he has been running and doing really well but he's not really marathon ready. I mean, anybody can just go out and run the marathon, but if you don't want to get hurt, I wouldn't really suggest doing that, and he doesn't want to get hurt, so 22 seconds. So everyone said, Courtney, why don't you just take his spot and run it? And I thought, you know what, why not? 10 seconds, I've always wanted to run the LA Marathon. And there's no pressure, four. Three, two, rest. Oh, all right, hard one coming up. Bicep curls in a squat. You can go heavy, you might wanna go medium. Elbows digging into your upper knee area. And curl it up. So we're staying down here in this squat the whole time. That's right, we are. You got it, Dale. Stay down with me. Stay down, stay down. You are almost halfway already. You can do this. So anyway, you'll see me if you go to the LA Marathon this year. I will be running in the name of Dave. You can't transfer the name, so I'm just gonna go ahead and act like I'm him. I mean, I can, I can pass for him, right? I'm only a foot shorter and... <laughs> Eight seconds. Four. Two. <sighs> what do we feel? Legs or biceps more? Definitely legs for me. Low rocking push-ups. All right, these are challenging. Coming down to a push-up, rocking forward and back, coming up, and then doing a leg lift at the top. All right, we are on. I'm just checking. I've lost my spot. It is a leg lift at the top. Just confirming that. That's our break, that's our rest. <laughs> if you can't do the low rocker, you can always go to your knees and do a knee push-up, come up, do a leg lift. So those plank shifts that we did, same movement. Make sure that you come back from your shift before you push up. That's the important part. Up, back, then push up. Leg lift, 20 seconds. These will work your chest, that's for sure. Eight. Come on, get at least one more in. Three, two, one. Yes. 
Oh, those are tough, yeah? Stand it up, bicep curls only. Grab your heavy weights, just bicep curls. Simple, simple. Four, three, two, shoulders back and down. Let's go, curl it up. Bringing your arms all the way down to straight. Looking good, MJ. What do we think about the marathon? I think it's gonna be fun, you know? Just for fun, no pressure on getting a special time. Just enjoy the sights of Los Angeles. With 50,000 other people, or however many people do it. Should be exciting. 17 seconds to go. Cardio coming up. Seven. Three. Two. Set them down. Ooh, those biceps are talking to me. Curtsy, knee jump. So just like the curtsy before, this time, knee jump. Or you can just do a knee without a hop. Right leg only, then we'll switch. Two, one, here we go. Down and up. Power up off that foot. Arm comes straight overhead. Big bend in both legs. Good, Steve. 30 seconds on this side. We will just switch to the other side. Quick transition. Come on, let's get sweaty. Let's get breathless. 15. Go. We can't wait to switch legs. <laughs> Five. Three. Two. Switch it. Left leg. Oh, that feels good, right? Go. Power up off that leg. Explode. Come on. Your mind is strong. Yes, you can. 23 seconds, that's it. Stay with me. You are getting so strong right now. 12. Come on. Almost there. Five. Three. Two. One. Oh. Anybody else feel that? Wow, you are blazing on fire. Grab water. On our backs. 10 seconds, grab your weights. Chest pulse for three. Legs out, three chest pulse, and then bring it up. Here we go. We're on already, yes. Option to bring your feet to the floor for the chest press and then crunch up. Try to keep that lower back on the floor. Great. So good, team. You're entering into the home stretch, sort of, sort of. 23 seconds to go. Work those abs, work that chest. 13. Gonna keep going. Five, three, two, the rest. Roll yourself on up. Get rid of those weights coming into Elbow plank, one of the easier exercises. Dolphin, booty comes up, knees come down, then back to elbow plank. Here we go, booty comes up, knees down, back to elbow plank. Booty, knees, plank. Working your shoulders quite a bit here. 
also abs. Pick up that booty. This is the one time you're in plank. You get to pick it up, yeah? 30 seconds. Let's go. Felt my abs a ton on that last one, yes? Definitely feeling the shoulders now. 13 seconds. Four. Two. Rest, okay. Double whammy on the arms, on the shoulders. One knee push up, one toe push up. One and one. Shake it out, roll it out. Five. Three. Two. One knee push up. Up to your toes. This is a great chance if you are working on transitioning your toes to try one or two in the midst of your knee push-ups. If you have a ledge like I do behind me, you can always put your hands on the ledge too. And that kind of helps with the transition to your toes. It makes it a little easier if your hands are up higher. Twenty-five seconds. Okay, perfect push-up form. What does that mean? That means your body is straight. Your hips are not sinking. Your hips aren't up. They're straight on. You're lowering your body to the ground. Perfectly straight. Six. Three. Two. One. Boom. Yes. Sit up. Sit up. Back to abs, no weight. I'm gonna use no weight for this one. We'll do sit-ups, full sit-ups, three ways. On your back, arms overhead. Three, two, here we go. Full sit-ups, arms overhead. After a few of these, or when you're ready, you can go ahead and bring your hands to your chest. All right. Try hands on the chest. It's a little harder, yes? Just a little bit. <sighs> a little less momentum. Now, from here, hands behind your head. Even more of a challenge. Try not to let those elbows move forward. <laughs> I know, it's so tough. It is so tough. 10 seconds. Even if you're super fit. Two, one, you can still get stuck on those. All right, chest flies. That is it. You might want to go a little heavier, but not maybe your heaviest for the flies. On your back. Let's go hips up, why not? Open up, two, one, let's go, chest flies. Squeeze those glutes. All right, Kirby, let's relax our face. Trying to breathe in through your nose, maybe even out through your nose if you can. Great, keep going with this. Open up your hands real big. If your weights are kind of lighter like mine, Let's go ahead and pulse. Here we go, two, one. If your weights are heavier, stick with the full range. Good, good, good. Come on, keep going. Working my chest, I know. After all those push-ups, I feel it too. Five, three, two. Oh, bring those hips down, legs come up. Roll yourself on up. Last cardio here, jump rope. Jump rope to double jump tuck. Three, two, so jump rope for four. Here we go, four, three, two, one, jump double. Get those knees up. Four regular, one tuck, one double jump. You gotta get those knees up to get a double around. You doing it? 
Yes, Alma. Good. Last cardio will be burpees. Your choice, your version. 10 seconds. Let's count our burpees, shall we? How many can you do in one minute? Or actually, it's 45 seconds. Two, one, burpee, 45, go. You count, I'll talk. Let's see, let's talk about how incredible we are, right? That's always a fun subject. How strong you are. Go. Show me. Just keep it moving. You only have 20 seconds. Let's go. Keep counting. 10. God, you got this. Almost there. Three, two, rest. How'd you do? How many did you get? You'll have to let me know. All right, one wait, one wait. Whew, 15 seconds, a couple more breaths. Right leg in front, right leg in front. Lunging, chopping. Swinging your leg, or wait up, two, one. Let's go, Hop. Bend your knees down, swing up straight. If you're having trouble balancing, you can always go to the side and swing up. Same movement, watch your back. You can do this with no weight too. Hop. Good. Thirty seconds. We're on the home stretch now. That's for sure. Cardio is done. Twenty. That back leg. You should feel it burning up. This is so good for your core. Eight. Three. Two. Rest, ha, oh, how'd you do? Amazing, that's how you did. On your back, abs, one bicycle, one star. So bicycle, star, two, one. Let's go, in, out, star, in, out, star. Option to bring your legs to the floor and star out. Putting, bringing your legs straight out is extremely challenging, especially while trying to keep your lower back on the floor. Give it a try, and then you can always bring your feet to the floor, just like this. Twenty-two seconds. What a mix in this workout, huh? Definitely some easier moves, but we're, ones like these just do you in. Eight seconds. Two, one, rest. Oh, other side, chop, lunge, chop, one weight. Left leg in front. One, let me tell you this again. Option to come down and swing up if you keep balance too hard. Two. One, it is quite difficult to balance this way. But this way will get your leg, your quad, a lot more. So if you can try it, you'll get that added benefit. One more exercise after this, team. So. You're a superstar, that's for sure. Almost to the finish line. Stay with me, push with me. 20. Go. 
Come on. Thrust that weight up. Power. Seven. A couple more. Three. Two. One. Rest. Oh. Both weights. The finale. Running triceps. One arm at a time. We did the double already. Now we're doing the single. Elbows up. Two. One. Back. So, for those of you that had a little trouble with the swing on the both triceps, this is a great option to practice stopping right, right with your back of your weight kind of at your upper thigh. Stop there and then move to the other side. Come on, get that arm way up there. Push that weight up high. 20 seconds, that's it. Then we stretch. Go, 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 keep going. You got this. 10. Everybody, one inch lower with your chest. Three, two, one, boom. We did it. Set those weights down for the last time. Oh, feels good to unload, right? Let's stretch. Stay for the stretch. Commit to it. Downward dog. Pedal those heels. Shoulders are down. Give yourself a few minutes here to relax. Press both heels down toward the floor. Now, think about bringing those hips up to the ceiling while you're pressing your heels down toward the floor. Bring that right leg forward into a lunge and twisting up and down. Try to sink a little lower in those hips. If you do these workouts all the time with me, I'm so happy. But I also want to let you know that you can join me live when we film the workouts. You can join in if you can. Just come on to sitting, bring that right leg over your left if you can. <laughs> and bring your booty slightly off the ground, rocking forward and back. If you can't do this, you can always bring one leg in and then reach for your foot, still stretching your hip. Tuesdays and Thursdays at 6 a.m. Pacific is when we film. And you can join me here on Discord. On your back, same leg, right leg up. Get that hamstring. You can keep your left leg <coughs> bent or straight, either way. Wherever you feel comfortable, hands behind your thighs, calves, your foot, some of you, you can put your foot way back behind your head. And roll yourself on up. Other leg, lunge twist. Anyway, we are a fun little group here, motivating each other. When you join live, also you can chat after. A little bit of a get to know each other. I'd love to see your face. Three, two, coming down to sitting. Bring that left leg across your right knee and you know your option if you can't. Stretching out that hip, side to side. So that link is in the description if you want to check it out and sign up. Completely free to join. And as always, all the other links are in there too. What I'm wearing, my map, everything. Amazon. On your back, hamstring stretch. Left leg up. You can roll out that ankle if you'd like. Knee, other knee, bent or straight.
so happy that you joined me for this workout today and that you stayed all the way through to the end. You'll have to let me know if you're sore tomorrow, if you feel it. Come on up to your knees. Just right on your knees. For some of you, this is gonna be adequate. For those of us rest who need a little more stretch, you can lean it back. You can also even come all the way back to the ground if you'd like. I think I'm just gonna probably stay right here or maybe to my elbows. Stretching out those quads. Final stretch of the day here. And then you're off to do good in the world. Bring it on up, roll up to your toes, roll yourself all the way up, head comes up very last. Big deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Wow, wow. Give me a comment, let me know how it all went. Let me know all your answers to what we talked about. I can't even think of it now, but you know. Give us a like and I will see you for the next workout. All right, everybody, have a great one. You absolutely crushed it today. So proud of us. Grab some water, hydrate, and hit the shower. You worked it. Woo!